from the door in Doncaster. Simon Stanike, our experienced referee for this bout. He's amateur MMA, three three-minute rounds. Double blink, this is going to be a firecracker. Two experienced fighters. Both fighters light on the toes, that's what we like to see. Clark in the blue corner, red gloves. For here, red corner, black shorts. We're on. Blue gloves. Opening leg kick from for here. Black gloves. And returned. I see it, counters it. Beautiful combination. Counters it, puts the knee in. Clark closing the distance, going for the takedown against the fence. Good wrist control by for here. Here using that wrist to avoid the takedown. It's working well. Knees coming in from Clark. And return by Fahir. Oh, beautifully timed takedown there by Clark. Yeah, a bit of a suicide roll, fell backwards with him, managed to go into where uh, I was in half guard. Blocks down, but Fahir just rolls. Puts himself in half guard. Very experienced guy. Good grappler. Keeps that position. Uses the right knee to come and progress through Clark's guard. Looks as if he's trying to progress to side control. Just struggling with Clark's hook. That butterfly hook on that side. For here, posturing up. He's trying to push you to land some shots. Keep control of the head, but he needs to be careful that he doesn't leave his arms out. Still being smothered by Clark. Good shots landed. Clark with the open guard now from the bottom. Shrimps to the side. But he just presses more shots, then closes his distance, keeping that control. Hay still chipping away from the top. So this fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Yeah, you can see Clark trying to con control that left arm of Fahey. But he needs to start using that guard more. He pushes away, but Fahey just moves the legs, comes down. With a hammer fist, he starts raining some punches. Stuck again in the half guard. Looks quite weak, he can progress through to full guard, I think if he really wants, he can just push that knee through. He's just using the forearm in the face of Clark. Final 10 seconds of round number one. We are all excited for it to be a nice stand-up war. Both these guys come swinging and then it's on to uh, to rest and I cursed it. So I say we've got two well-matched fighters there on the judges' scorecard. I think just because of the positions you're going to see for here, um, probably take the 10-9. Yeah, I think he, uh, he definitely had the dominant performance on the ground. He knew when to attack, and then uh, he started moving back out and then attacking again um, whenever he thought there was potential that he was going to get rolled or countered. Oh, the crowd's getting behind these guys now. Round number two. Bit of frustration, I think, by Clark. Or, uh, laying on his back foot first round. And now I think he's uh, he's going to want to come at this with some aggression. Let's see if it stays stood up. Let's see. Good right hand by both guys. Swinging some big shots. For here, lands. He's rushed in. He needs to keep that distance. He's got the takedown. Oh, a heavy takedown. Yeah. Heavy landing. 
He's closed the distance, had such big shots. I think he were on the cusp of finishing him there, but he's closed the distance and decided to take him down instead. He's got that side control. Yeah, for here, looking, I, I, to me, he looks to have improved quite a lot since, um, you know, we've seen him down here so many times. That striking is so dominant with the striking yeah. there. And like I said, Clark comes from a strong, dominant Thai background. He, um, and not only has he, he stood with him, he's actually landed some great shots. He's gone for his advantage being on the feet. Clark at minute just doesn't seem to have an answer on ground. You can see him trying to push that left armour for here. That's it, we uh, could be in a bit of a stalemate on the ground here. Both fighters still vying for position. We've seen uh, Clark chipping away. Ben Fahey riding in. You can see him looking for the position. Which way is he going to go? He needs to concentrate on one of the limbs, really, to make the... Uh, to pass through. It's him now just in front of the commentary table. Ben Fahey is using that smothering style of... Uh, just pinning his opponent and just picking off little shots, just trying to keep that close distance to avoid being rolled or submitted. But he had such a dominant striking. You'd have thought that they'd been saying, get back to your feet and, uh, and get back to what you're good at. You were That's winning it, yeah. the fight. You were literally, I say, you were on the cusp of finishing when he did, uh, when he landed that big shot and then decided to take him down instead. Clark just using that knee guard. trying to control that left arm to avoid the shots but it means he's still stuck at the bottom it is uh, I mean what outcome are we looking for here I mean if I were for here he's shown how dominant is he on his feet even though he's taking on a that's it Clark is uh, he's waited it out and he's actually got the reversal now it's up to him whether he wants to stay there where he's had a bit of uh, not much success or whether he wants to stand up and actually back out of it he's landed some big shots Both fighters, when they're on the back, yes, they are is. using a good defence to, to, to stop the other fighter from posturing up and raining ben down. Ben here going for head and arm at the bottom. We can see the defence of Eddie Clark answering phone, as he's called, trying to put his arm up. That is tight. I mean, can't... It does look tight. I don't think there's enough space on that side to choke him. Um, and it's going to go to round number three. In our unofficial opinion, I think it's two rounds to zero in the red corner for Ben here. He yeah, seems to have quite a, a dominant performance. Even though we did see spurts of aggression there by Clark landing the shots, it was still pretty much one-way traffic on ground. Um, it was more control rather than damage, I'd say, um, yeah. from for here. So if you put yourself in the corner position now of Eddie Clark and the Legion's guys, what will you be saying to him? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. If he's a stand-up fighter, I mean, he has to use his range in and out with shots because for here is bringing the real good combinations, kicking and punching, both changing levels on his feet. But both fighters, they've not showing that they can finish on the ground. So, take as, the as a selfish of point of view, I'd like them to keep standing and show us what they got as it's, uh, it's fireworks when it happens. But yeah, I, I think Eddie Clark. I think he needs to go guns blazing and uh, and keep that distance. That's the thing. When the when the distance gets closed, he seems to be getting taken down, and it's that smothering effect that's working for Ben. Round three. He needs to keep the kicks. distance, and uh, yeah, like I said, these guys are strikers. It only takes one shot, and it's a game changer. He needs to back away now, rather than taking him down. And now he's ended up on his back. He needed to keep the distance. So we've got Fahey on top again, vying for position. Uh, let's see how he can use this. As a judge, your main directive is you're looking for who is looking to actively finish the fight. There we go. There we go. So he's raining down some good shots. That knee on the uh, on the arm there, just blocking it off so he can land some more shots. He's going into full mount now. 
This is a good opportunity for him to uh, to rain down some more pain. Put in a little choke. It wasn't very effective, so he's uh, he's gone for the high guard. Eddie Clark's booking from the bottom. He's got the head at the back. He's in a very dangerous position now, he's been for here. Literally straightened him out as straight as he could possibly be then. Yes, we've got Clark underneath, for here's on top. He's gone low. And he's through into the mount. Full mount. Can he rain down? Real awkward position against the cage. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bad position for Eddie Clark. He don't want to be here. So especially with his neck stuck against back at cage. He's got not a lot of room to uh, work. He needs to try and uh, try and, well, it's hard now like that, but pull him down, start trying to work the knees, and see if he can get into uh, half guard, see if he can try and roll him. You can see that left knee now is, uh, is quite close. If he can move that down and try to book to one side, he can take, roll his back now if he wanted. It's... Uh, yeah, so here you got the hooks under there. That's it, he's in a slightly better position now, but yeah, straight back into full mount. You see him trying to push that knee down. He's hugging the body to avoid shots. This could be it now. You see a couple of big shots, it pulls him back down onto him. Final 20 seconds of the third round. Again, well defended by Clark. He won't let Fahey open up with those rain of punches. We're seeing some now. Could that be it? He say he's gone for the choke. Rear naked, is it locked in? Has he got time? It's not locked in. Uh, no, he's, uh, it looks pretty tight. He's, he's only got one arm on, but he's grabbed the shoulder. <laughs> and he, he managed to ride it out. So he's going to go to the judges for the official decision. Good stuff, just out of time there. That fight brought to you by Total Cladding. We'll now get the decision, the official decision from Gary the Pocket, Rocket Patterson, RMC. Clark versus Fahey. I think we know where this one's going, Harry. Yeah, I think it was a dominant performance by uh, Fahey. I wish he had followed up in the second round um, on the feet, give him a bit of uh, air, and then finished him rather than rushing in. But end of the day, he, uh, he secured himself victory, so you never know, do you? He did what he needed to do to win. And at the three hard quarter rounds, your winner by unanimous decision, in the right corner, Ben Barbarian Faye. There we go, that was fight number six. And please, a huge round of applause for an outstanding opponent in Eddie Clark. No doubt Eddie Clark will go back to the gym, learn from his mistakes and be back again to uh, to rectify. Yeah, definitely. Next up, guys, we've got the ladies in the cage. Charlotte Cooper versus Amy Dewance.